Good morning, everyone. And in case I don't see you again, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Today, I want to talk about the School for Good Mother by Jasmine Chan. The book opened up with the line, "We have your daughter," like some kind of a hostage situation. But no, the call is from the cops, and Frida's daughter was taken from her home when they found out she's been home alone for a few hours. Frida was having a very bad day. She was sleep deprived for the last few week. Her job was taking on a never-ending demand. Her ex-husband was away with her mistress, and her daughter was fussy from getting close to an ear infection. So her neighbor reported it to the authority. When Frida was away two hours from her baby, and they took her baby then, she thought that becoming a mother would mean joining a community. But the mothers she met are as petty as newly minted sorority sisters. A self-appointed task force hewing to a maternal hotline to judge whether she's fit to be a mother. Her house was monitored using CCTV, and unfriendly social worker with no child was assigned to film her in three visits. This intrusive stranger. Each visit delayed further by the social worker, while Harriet, Frida's daughter, stayed with her father and her mistress. She was sentenced with a verdict of becoming a bad mother as a result of the evaluation. So it begins. Frida thinks she is a bad mother among other bad mothers. She neglected and abandoned her child. She has no history, no other identity. And with that sentencing, she, along with other bad mothers, was assigned to the school for bad mothers, which is basically a prison with any other name. They were given assignment, torturous scenario that they have to face without feeling any strong emotion, because feelings get in the way of being a mother. And if they fail, they might never see their child again. The story offers a look into a dystopian setting if government body that are always out of touch is given all the power to judge if someone was being a bad parent. Government body that have no real experience of being parents, that believe either the latest trend or outdated tradition, even if they conflict with each other, that thinks body language is a real applicable thing to everyone. What kind of nightmare world are there in this dystopian setting? Well, obviously. There are a lot of bad parents. I'm not saying there aren't. Easy example of this was how historically bad parents are at monitoring the content they want their children to avoid. That's why since the age where media exists, from prints to radio and TV broadcasts, gaming and internet, every media ever has been blamed for telling a story that are too mature or inappropriate for children because some parents are just shit at parenting. But what the story is trying to tell is the overly authoritative word that can tell the difference between inexperienced mistakes and voluntary incompetence. The book is not perfect. There are flaws with its pacing and some parts really feel like fillers. But overall, it's quite a good story that tackles the mythification of motherhood, of this unflinching and indestructible force of nature that, in the name of being a mother, means that she's able to do all things a mother should be able to do. It tells a story of outsider who always tries to look in and how oppressive those snitches' in intrusion can be. That's about it.